In this tutorial, we're going to explore the Windows XP desktop. The first thing that we're going to discuss very briefly, just for an overview, is how Windows XP relates with your computer. Now, your computer, whether it's your laptop or a desktop, is basically a big box of electronics that, without some kind of interface, has no way of interacting with a human being. So, what you have is an operating system. And an operating system, such as Windows, is a special piece of software that allows all the electronics and the nuts and bolts to communicate with us human beings. Windows then, in turn, is the interface for other programs, such as Word, Excel, Outlook, Internet Explorer, for these programs to be able to talk to us and, as well, to talk to the hardware. So you can think of Windows, uh, the operating system, as the interface between the hardware of the physical computer and programs and, you know, and people. So without this piece of software, the operating system, we wouldn't be able to use a computer. And other examples of operating systems are, for example, Mac OS or Macintosh operating system. But enough technical things. Now, what we're looking at here is the desktop. The first thing you notice is this blue wave that I have. This is my wallpaper. Now, this is wallpaper that came with Windows and with this nice little ad here that says Windows XP Professional. The wallpaper can very easily be changed, and that's something we're going to discuss uh, in another tutorial. Um, for pictures, for example. Um, again, though, remember, if you do put a picture of something on your uh, Windows desktop, again, as your wallpaper, you might see a decrease in performance as complicated pictures are difficult for uh, the computer to constantly display because it takes a lot of resources to do that. Um, so sometimes the most simple background, though maybe not as pretty or exciting, is a good way to make your computer faster. Now, moving from the, on the general desktop, you have here what's called icons. Now, generally, what an icon is, is um, a reference to a program. So, if we look over here, My Documents, and I just left-clicked it to highlight it, um, and when you hover the mouse over it, it actually will give you um, some pop-up text to explain what it is. But, My Documents is a folder, and a folder is an area on the hard drive, which is the storage facility of your computer that stores documents. And this is just a quick way to get to the My Documents folder. The My Computer icon, again, will allow you to access some of the more technical areas of your computer um, and some settings that we'll get into at another time. Same information for network places. And again, the Recycle Bin, which yours may look similar or different, um, but the Recycle Bin is where you can store things that you've deleted before they go to be permanently deleted. Moving towards the bottom of the screen, I have the ever-famous Start menu. When you click the Start menu, you pretty much get a card catalog or a table of contents um, on how to get to programs and documents and things in your computer. So the start menu is generally your lifeline between you, know, you and the computer and what's on it. Now moving down here I have what's enabled called the quick launch bar. And that's something that we can again get into in another tutorial. But as this is just an overview I'm going to tell you what it does. Um, if you look as I hover over these icons, and again uh, these icons represent programs, Picasa is a photo program, Firefox is a web browser like Internet Explorer. I don't like keeping many icons on my desktop. I find it messy. So I use the quick launch bar to put icons down here. And you can see, and don't worry how to do this, we'll do it another time. I, even if I had the icon neatly put over there, I would much rather have it down here, nice and clean at the bottom of the screen. And again, don't worry about how I've changed it or moved it. You know, that, can, that will be reviewed in a different tutorial. But just understand that this is something that can be done to keep your desktop nice and tidy. And then down here on the right, this um, area of the taskbar here shows you what programs are running in the background. Just because we don't see any program on the screen, there are still things going on in the background. And a good example here is that I have my, my firewall and my antivirus protection enabled. And you can control the firewall, for example, and the antivirus just from manipulating the mouse with these icons here. And again, we're not going to get into that now. That's a little more advanced. But just to understand that I can see from here, I know that my AC adapter is plugged in on my laptop. I have my volume controls. These are Norton programs we talked about. Um, and the arrow over here, which shows you there are some more things. When we open it up, it looks like I see the Picasa icon. And we can close it back to save space. In addition, when you, it gives you the time. You can hover over it, and it will give you um, today's date. So that concludes the introductory lesson to 
the desktop to the Windows desktop and again the things that we reviewed that you learned today are that this is the desktop and the desktop has the wallpaper which is just the background and we can change it to pretty much anything we want including photos and any kind of pictures as long as you can get it on the computer uh, which is pretty easy to do we have icons here on the desktop which and again these are system icons that come with the computer um, but again icons for any programs that you have or documents can be placed on the desktop and we'll talk about that you have the start menu which is your uh, your guide your atlas to the computer and again some shortcut icons down here and again a shortcut is a um, you hear that word used very often instead of having to go for example start programs to whatever program that you want to go to for example uh, Macromedia Dreamweaver what you would do is you can create an icon on the desktop and then you could double click that uh, to not have to go through those steps every time something else we can talk about and then you learn that there are um, icons that represent processes or programs that are running in the background uh, that concludes this lesson